it's a, it's such a huge it is it's such a huge role um you know, and it's such a a big part. Yeah, it's a big part of our world in everything, in in, in politics. Listen, we're here in D.C. Clothes matter. You know, it, it's unfortunate sometimes how they matter so much, or what it or what it's judged for. Um, but it, yeah, it matters. I think. Um, but that's what's exciting. I mean, it's it's the same thing with so many industries: art, uh, you know, music. I mean, music shapes cultures. I think. Uh, yeah, so it, which is why I think right now it's a very exciting time to be a designer and and see people just like appreciate uh, things, you know, for to take a step away from everything else. At least clothes you can get to have fun with it. They should make you feel good. Like that's I think what it should be about. One of your other big customers, me, Michelle Obama, wore um, one. A a beautiful cobalt blue dress of yours during the uh, Democratic National Convention. Yeah. Um, a lot of designers came out one way or the other in their feelings about the current first lady. Yeah. I mean, how did you feel about that? And have, in terms of dressing her, um, not that she can't go into any store and of buy course. whatever she wants to, but yeah. sort of creating something specifically for her. And have your feelings changed in the last, what's it been, nine months, eight mm -hmm. months? A tough oh, now, now, people. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> I um, <laughs> um, no, no. And they say um, politics isn't involved in fashion. Yeah, listen, <laughs> this is Washington Post, people. Um, I was actually just looking on the Washington Post Twitter, and I'm like, I don't know if I fit in here, but um, <laughs> but we will uh, we'll go with it. Uh, so. Uh, you know, but I will, you know, dressing Michelle Obama, I dressed her a few times, you know, obviously for me as a young, you know, gay American, uh, you know, boy with a dream, uh, you know, <laughs> cliche, but they, you know, that, you know, that, you know, what the Obamas stood for was for all of those things and supporting all of those things. So dressing her for me was felt, you know, it was, it was an iconic moment, even if no one cared. I cared because I, what she believed in, that speech she gave that night, mm -hmm. um, I believe in those same things. So with the new, obviously the new world that we're living in, unfortunately I don't believe in their choices, so I don't feel like it would make sense for me to be a part of that. Um, which, which, which goes with, with, and everybody, you know, can kind of take that, whatever, you know, I, I just, and then I think it's the same thing with, like I said, an actress, a musician. Mm -hmm. If you're posting on social media, you you know you don't like gay people. Well, then why am I sending you a dress? So right, th right. that it's just a that's just life. That's just normal. You you're who you you know who you're friends with. If they don't support what you support, you're not friends with them. So that's what it is. It's, it has nothing else to do with anything else but that. That I think that's the most important thing. Um, that you have to uh, I think support what I believe in, um, women's rights, uh, gay rights, all those things, you know. Um, yeah, it's a very important thing. And as a designer, the only thing I have is my clothes to put out into the world. So that's the choice that we have to make. Yeah. 